All right, it's a big special day. Volume's right there. It's all good. Uh, dude, I am here with someone I consider literally, um, uh, if not already, on your way to be a vocal legend. Ow. And wait, But I don't want to tell anybody who you, who you are yet. Do you remember what you did? And it was such an amazing impact. What you did in Atlantic City, how you came on stage. You weren't even performing. You were introducing somebody. Do you remember mm -hmm. what you did? And people went crazy. Do you remember? I'll tell you off the air because I want you to do it. Oh, I just, did I sing a little acapella? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just do, just, will you do that for us? Sure. Okay, do that right now. What are we supposed to do? Yeah! That's all he did, I'm telling you. And the place went absolutely crazy. Chris Willis is, is his name. For the, uh, If you don't know, he worked a lot with David Guetta. And, of course, on that track with Fergie and Guetta right now that's uh, blown up all over the place. But you yes. got your own stuff going on, which yes. we're, we're going to talk about. Yes. Um, and we were talking about a second ago what your actual hometown is, which is... Dayton, Ohio. So you're a Midwest boy, but you live in Atlanta. Yeah. Because you've been doing nothing but traveling. Traveling. Every time I see your Twitter, and it's what Chris Willis twit, right? Yes, that's right. You are in a different country with different people, and <laughs> this is crazy to me, and I really want to pick your brain. I know we totally, we totally just chatted about everything, what, a week ago, two weeks ago? Yeah. But you were just in Korea. Yes. I'm assuming South Korea? South Korea, okay. South Korea. No one's going to North Korea. Well, yeah, what was that like? Performing and doing that over like there? A dream come true. I, I did, did not know what to expect. Yeah. So we what, were always hoping there's going to be 50,000 people in the audience, but um, the club was extremely well designed. Yeah. The sound system was pretty decent. But these fans were screaming. I thought it was Elvis. It was the really? reception was incredible. <laughs> you tricked yourself into being they Elvis. Basically, were if if I let them, they would have come on stage with me. That was that's how a, that's amazing. That's so yeah. cool because I mean you're going to Russia, I heard or something. You're and then of course you're overseas with Geta all the time. Yeah. And uh, and th dude, that's so cool, especially being a hometown boy. You started in gospel music. Yep. Which is uh, I still love that because I think there's so much honesty in gospel music and so much mm. uh, so much soul. I may be a white boy, but I got some soul. You know? hey, you know. <laughs> Soul comes in all different shapes and sizes and colors and ethnicities. And Even small sizes like me because I'm a little guy. <laughs> do, you like, um, do you like the pop music scene? I mean, because you toured a while for the, for, with the gospel. Yeah. Do you? I love it. I, you know, I, I felt like such an outsider on the other side of the fence for so long, but always dreaming of leaping the fence and being on this side. So it, it's, You didn't leap it, dude. Huge... You took like a jet plane and flew right, <laughs> right over Jump, it, man. Jumped into, into it. it. Huge admiration. I'm such a celebrity fan i love celebrities it's you know it's it's my thing i've who, always dreamed of meeting who is uh, who's someone that you haven't met that you are told that you can't wait to meet Ooh, you know i'm so fascinated with the movie stars like brad pitt and angelina jolie and, is it because um, you you want to know them as a person or you're like what is it like to be you like with the it. paparazzi and kind of stuff just to figure out what they are that's it just to have this incredible impact in the globe and on the globe and just yeah. to be a human being at the same time and trying to get a normal life and being chased don't sell by the paparazzi don't short though man you have that you totally do you know how many people every time they hear your songs are just excited you well, see you them know, jumping around, you. man. You have that. Yeah, thank don't sell you. yourself short at all. I felt like I've been anonymous for so long. It's hard to kind of... I don't really come to terms with my own celebrity, quote, unquote. But. Well, now you, uh, you got your own stuff going on. We're actually going to play your new track for everybody so they can hear it first uh, in Chicago, exclusively right here. Yes. And uh, while you're sitting here, and I'm excited about it because I know how talented you are. And I think people... I mean, just just by you walking on stage singing, what, five words? <laughs> Not even? <laughs> what are we supposed to... Yeah, four? I don't know. I don't count. Well, I have you to thank and all the radio programmers all around the planet that have rocked this track and the DJs in the clubs. I mean, because it, it's so easy to come out there and sing those words because it's been burned in the brain. So, thank you. Know, you. The truth is, a lot, and a lot of artists say that too. They're like, we want to thank you, we want to thank you. But honestly, there's a lot of songs we don't play because <laughs> the artist didn't put out a good song. So we okay. should be thanking you <laughs> and the talent that you are. So what is, uh, what's going on? You're in town because uh, tomorrow night, yeah, which is Friday. I kept I called it Wednesday today. I called <laughs> today Friday, but tomorrow night you are performing up uh, on Halstead, right? At yes. Roscoe's. Yes. And what's going on there? What it what, what can people expect from you tomorrow night? All the hits. I'm going to introduce my new track, which you're going to play. Yeah. And I'm just going to have a really good time. I love Chicago. I love the people of Chicago. I love being here. I love being here when it's warm. Yeah. Right. So uh, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to I'm going to sweat. 
and sing and have a great time. What is the comparison from Chicago in the winter to being over in Europe in the winter in certain parts of Europe? Russia, Siberia, yeah. it feels like it. Like it that. feels like it's a little <laughs> a lot more windy because we of the lake effect snow. But yeah. wow, really cold, brutal cold. Well, we're excited for you for you to be here. And uh, let's Thank let's you. talk about the track. Okay. What, it's called Louder. Louder. Put your hands up. Put your hands up, and that yeah. pretty much sums it up, right? <laughs> pretty much sums, louder. Put your damn hands yeah. up. Let's do this. Uh, so do you want to? What else do we need to know about this track? This about is coming out from? on my. Um, um, I co-produced this with Cut Father and Jonas from Sweden. Okay. Um, and this is a big deal because this is the first song on my new imprint, Veneer Records. I like my it. My very own label. That's your. Oh, it's your very own label. My very own. Oh, congratulations! Label. That's huge. Thank you. Very That's huge. huge. Very huge. You're like um, this song is coming out, and then we're doing a wonderful remix package in a few days, and then we're going to launch it up on iTunes, and it's going to be available all over the world, all Search. over the planet. So get stay on that. So. Twi- stay on your Twitter. So yes, people are saying, I'm going to do some really interesting things, preempting and announcing it. So follow me on Twitter, Chris Willis Twit. All right, so you can see him tomorrow night at Roscoe's. And uh, check out the new single right here. You can text 51035 if you like it and uh, and say what's up. So you go ahead and you want to intro your single right now? Since you're the guy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is Chris Willis, and this is my new track, Louder. Put your hands up.